This color is essential to any contemporary interior color scheme. I mean, how can it not be with a name like Essential Gray? The color code is SW6002. The company is Sherwin-Williams. It's time for color code. So let's do what we always do on the paint people and crack that code. I really like talking about neutrals like Essential Gray because I find there's more than meets the eye in cases like this. There's a lot going for gray in general because there's many different directions you can take it in. And in today's video, we're going to analyze Essential Gray and I'm going to give you my picks for color pairings, including a light, medium, and dark color, as well as an off-white that you can use either on your trim, your woodwork, your doors, or even your ceilings. And while you might be tempted to stick with a more grayscale or monochromatic color scheme in general, my color choices work against that a bit because I wanted to have some more fun with this one. Almost as much fun as you hitting the like button for good karma and also the YouTube algorithm, duh. It's just that button down there, you know, almost. There you go. So essential gray would be classified as a mid-tone color, meaning it's essentially middle of the road depth wise. If you go on the Sherwin-Williams website and look up essential gray, you click on that details tab, you'll notice that there's an acronym, LRV, with a 48 next to it. And for those of you that don't know, this means light reflectance value, which is a zero to 100 percentage point system that tells you how light the color will appear. And it does this because that's how much light the color is going to reflect back at you. 48, that's pretty close to 50, which is why it's in that mid-tone category. And mid-tones tend to be a pretty well-liked classification of color because it gives you several different options as to how you can use it. It's sort of the Goldilocks category, not too light, not too dark, just right in a lot of cases, but not all. I'm sure a lot of you know the problems with having a color on your walls that's maybe too dark. It's not gonna feel as open and airy. But what's the problem with a color that's too light? That's not quite as obvious. Well, if it's too light, that usually implies that it doesn't feel very saturated, which means you won't really end up seeing the color. You'll just end up with walls that looked kind of washed out or unfinished. Essential gray has quite a bit of depth as a gray, and I would almost put it in my made up gruge category, <laughs> meaning it's a gray that has just that little hint of red in its undertones. What this really translates to is an earthy, almost taupey gray that seems to feel like a combination of gray and warm brown. You won't have to fear about essential gray feeling too cool or blue or icy. This color is earthy. It's real grounded. And if you stick around until the color pairings, you'll see how we can leverage this earthiness and bring out those undertones even more rather than just making them feel, well, gray. So the first color pairing we're talking about is the wonderfully named Incredible White, which is pretty high praise when it comes to color names. But what better white to pair with essential gray than one that is incredible? In reality, it's more of an off-white because its LRV is 74. That would mean there are very few circumstances where you might mistake this color for being a pure white because it's not. It definitely has some gray added in, but also a hint of that warm brown as well. Now I say a hint because Incredible White has much more visible beigey, creamy warmth as well. But this also comes from being just a lighter color overall. It's obviously not gonna feel brown when it's that light. The two together coordinate in a really easy going way. At the end of the day, they're both variations of warm gray, but they go in slightly different directions. When we get to our mid-tone color, you can really feel a bit of a shift. And I selected a color that has been getting quite a bit of praise these last couple years. And I can see why, because it's beautiful. It's the stormy blue color called Aleutian. It is admittedly a darker mid-tone, but I felt like I had to go a bit darker here to differentiate from the main color, Essential Gray, even more. But just based on the color hues alone, you can clearly see a massive departure from one to the next. 
It's until you take an actual blue color like Aleutian and put it next to essential gray that you can really see the lack of any blue in that gray color. In fact, essential gray almost starts to look a little more brown leaning than gray, which was an intentional choice. Totally meant that. This is something that I like to do with neutral colors. I wanna manipulate them and their undertones and essentially change their look or their dynamic based on those surrounding colors. I take this one step further with the dark color pairing. It's the beautiful deep green known as Isle of Pines. While the blue color in Aleutian made essential gray look more brown, Isle of Pines almost takes on a complementary role and brings out this slight mauve purple type of effect in essential gray. There are other dark greens that you can select which will feel a little more neutral, which could dial this effect back a little bit, but I ended up going with this color because of its pretty aggressive saturation to bring that point home. These last two color pairings in particular are going to be a bit polarizing for certain people because of the amount of saturation, which is maybe not something you're used to if you're looking for a gray to begin with, but you could easily incorporate one or the other depending on your preference. But also don't be intimidated to have them all together in varying amounts because I feel like we're trying to combat the everything needs to be gray narrative. As for the off-white paint color, I would just go with pure white because it's warm and soft and delicate, but still light enough where you'll have contrast with the lightest color we spoke about today, incredible white. I wouldn't think too hard here because you already have a lot going on with the other colors. Just keep it nice and simple with your white paint color. Other than gray, another neutral that is fun to play around with is beige. And we have natural linen right here, which is one of my current favorites to work with this year.